What's going on, guys? Time for some Madden. I finally got my hands on 23. It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Bucks and the Cowboys on Sunday night primetime. It's the marquee game of opening weekend, and off we go <clears throat> on a Sunday night on EA Sports. And no run back on this one, so the new season will begin at the 25-yard line. Tampa Bay's offense set to take the field, and of course, a quarterback, 23-year veteran, who's had a Hall of Fame career several times over, the great Tom Brady. For one month, many people thought they'd seen the yeah. end of the greatest quarterback career in league history. Of course, there were others who expected Tom Brady to come back, and he did so 40 days later for a 23rd NFL season. Leading the league in completions, yards, and touchdowns at age 44. He showed that he's as good as ever. But of course, losing in the divisional round. Nice stop. The way he wanted to go out in his final game. For TV 12, it's Lombardi <clears throat> trophies or bust. They'll wind up getting a yard. Oh, wow, we got a lot of injuries. Second down. That's not good. Here's Brady. It's caught by Mike Evans. It'll be a gain of five. And this will wind up being a third and three. But Charles, you take a look at the hmm. draft class for this offense. It's highlighted by a first-round pick who provides hey, a much-needed boost to their offensive line. And you and I both know it's the kind of pick that doesn't often get a fan base it's really okay. excited. But I know who is excited. Their quarterback. He won't get hit as much. And that should improve the rest of the offense as well. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. Now Brady. Oh! Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. So a big defensive play there on the opening drive, no less, as they make the interception and bring it back to the score. And I think that's a signal for how this defense wants to play. They want to be disruptive, and you know they're going to take some chances. Well, sometimes it can burn you, but right there, it paid off. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. They had the auspicious beginning to the season, a first drive turnover. Now they'll try again here, first and ten. Now Brady to try again after the pick six. He completes it to Julio Jones. Maybe a good spot nice. to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Brady gives this to Wright. Six yards nope. to pick up, and that's a first down. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second Got half. Got Right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down. And he will go down. A Cowboy sack. Big Demarcus Lawrence getting him in there and bringing him to the ground. The number one 
position of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush yeah. got to him in a hurry. Yeah, he blew right through it. Say, uh, guys, he killed that line. And you have to ask politely, because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. As we check the next-gen stats, you'll see he had precious little time to do anything with the football there. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Over the middle, complete. Oh, it's I think I got it. And yes, I did. This up to midfield. Nice stop. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yards to pick up the first down. Now it'll be fourth and short. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. The Cowboys taking the field on offense, and for a seventh season, it's Dak Prescott who brings him out. And not only was it great to see Dak Prescott make his return in 2021, it's even better to see him playing the best ball of his career. He didn't lead Dallas to just a division title in its best record in six years. Dallas also led the league in yards and points, the first time it has led in both since 1971. So Damn. Damn. Prescott to the Cowboys <laughs> now with a first and 10. I did not know that. 17-yard line. William Goldston in on the oh, stop. come on, Power. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky. That play only picked up five yards. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the uh, 25. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Need two yards. Let's go. Trying to run for it with Oh, I don't think and I got it. be very close to a first nope. down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. Yeah, it's not even come close. Now, fair catch is called for and taken at the, we'll call it the 37 yard line. Jesus, that was it's a, just a 32 yard butt. punt with no return. And hey. Bucks will get ready to go on offense. They start to drive with White. And a five yard gain gets him to the 42. That was such a crappy ball. Of hype, of course, going into I'm this embarrassed. The Cowboys and the Bucks. <laughs> they met last year in the season opener. Remember, that was the night they raised the banner in Tampa. It was also Dak Prescott's comeback game. And the Bucks wound up winning 31-29 on a late Ryan Suckup field goal. Really good game that was. And these two teams were also the two best offenses in the NFL last year. The Cowboys gaining 18 more yards over the course Ooh. of the season. Than the number two box. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third <coughs> Merry down Christmas. conversion. On play action, now Brady. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Get up and run. <laughs> and he's able to get it back to right around the 27. With no running backs in the backfield to help pass protect, all the receivers in their patterns, it's going to be hot routes. If they sense a blitz or pressure on the quarterback, they've got to be prepared to break routes off early and get the football. In this case, ah, uh, never even had a chance. Oh, they popped the ball free in the backfield. And he's I still didn't realize there was a hand to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. A full five-yard loss that time. Yeah, it's I screwed be that second one down pretty tough. I wasn't paying attention to the play. Here's Pollard again. Five 
five yards gets him back near the original line of scrimmage as he'll be left with a third and long. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. On third down, it's Prescott. Open man ram, it's complete. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark it down at the 9. Well, so much for the first down. And they could have, would have, should have had a first down, but Langley is not going to be happy with this one. They did not. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Nope. So no sack, he gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it'll still bring up a fourth down. Well, I can spin this negatively as he just got back to the line of scrimmage, but when you really analyze it, he took away a big play from the defense, made it an uneventful run because he avoided What's up, Kevin? a sack and didn't lose Merry yardage. Merry Christmas, buddy. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. This from 54 yards away. Marr able to put this one through, and that will extend their lead even further. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get through. Uh, yeah, we were able to see. Did you have a good Christmas, man? It's kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they have the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, the offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. And he returns this to the 22. The Tampa Bay offense set to go again. But right now, they're on the wrong end of the scoreboard, and that won't change if this drive ends like the last one when they had that lost fumble. So you have a feeling taking care of the football is certainly paramount right now. Yeah, and it's not just the guy who dropped it on the last drive, is it? That means everyone who might touch wow. the ball is getting the same message. Guys, ball ah. security... Paramount. Yeah, pretty much it's what I did, too. We do, we got a chance to put points on the board. Delivering a pass here to Evans on the out route. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. To throw again on second down. Brady, throw right side, take it in by Godwin. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. First and ten here. You know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Damn. He'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. <laughs> now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Brady's throw here into the hands of Jones. Now another timeout called for by the offense. As they Come get on, the we got to stop them. A little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Into the red zone, it's Brady. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Evans. And they got this down to about the 12-yard line. Well, this ain't going good. My Christmas sucked. Looking to throw again on second down. Brady, this is caught. And in for the Buccaneers they got touchdown. It. Chris Godwin, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Buccaneers get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. It's all good. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yeah. of a half, headed into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take it to the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. A lot of football, a full half to be played. And a good effort on the good return run. there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. And the Cowboys going to go on offense one final time in this first half. And leading 10-7, and they may just want to get this to the locker room. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And some space here. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. 17 yards on the play there, and the Cowboys have a first down. I'm just going to let time wind down. 
So we've reached halftime here in our initial Sunday night telecast of the new season. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports halftime report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon. Thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. I can't believe I got that offensive pass NFL. interference. We'll start our tour out in the city of Angels, Los Angeles, where you see the final score there. Josh Allen, two touchdown passes as his guys are able to get the victory in their season opener. From there, we'll make the trek east to Atlanta to check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And they were losers in that ball game to the visiting New hmm. Orleans Saints. Andy Dalton, two touchdown passes as his guys are able to get the victory in their season opener. Cool. And finally, what a kickoff to Monday Night Football. Russell Wilson's first game as a Bronco, and it's in Seattle to wrap up week one. Moving on, let's take a look at the next-gen stats in the first half for Tampa Bay. And they weren't able to get a whole lot done throwing the football. That'll likely be a big key if they want to turn things around in the second half. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, we check out their numbers on the ground as they'll try to keep the momentum going into the second half. Yeah, I don't it's know about that. It's a new season. So both of these coaching staffs likely making plenty of adjustments after that first half of football. So for the call of the second half here in week one, we go back to Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. <clears throat> this one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. It's going to we'll be a close game. One fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Up come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 cool. at their own 22. A little jet sweep to start the drive. Yeah, I used to have the first down. Right I got the first down. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. An excellent run there coming from out wide. And we used to consider these jet sweeps to be gadget plays or something a little bit unusual, right? But now most teams have some version of this play in their playbook. And I think it's a lot because of the receivers that are being developed nowadays. These guys look like running backs, even though they're playing out on the perimeter. When we say the sky is the limit for C.D. Lamb coming into his third season, it's not hyperbole. 1,102 yards in his first Pro Bowl nod last season. He's now the unquestioned WR1 for Dallas following the Amari Cooper deal. They get it to him there for a first down. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Oh, That'll cool. Did you get a 27-yard pickup? Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find answers. Nope. They've got to find got stopped. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten, third quarter of the season opener. Going to run again here with Pollard. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Prescott. Flip it. T.Y. Hilton, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. <laughs> Circle that drive because that might be one to remember well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. He talked about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So the drive there took six plays. And it's capped off by the T.Y. Hilton touchdown. That was nice. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Take it in at the three. 
And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. It was a small magical spread. Oh, Julio Jones all alone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Damn. Julio Jones, 78 yards. And the Bucs have cut it back within a score. Extra point put through by Suckup. And the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. <laughs> Nobody likes Brady. That's awesome. Now it's His own teammates are going to high five him. Touchdown to kick it away. Taken in at the three. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. He'll fire this deep for Gallup. And that is going to be caught in one-handed. Wow. A 240, please. Dallas. 48 yards. But Dak Prescott, probably not the first name you think of in terms of strongest arms in the NFL, but he showed it off there. And that's how you start a drive, because you know they had this play in their back pocket, waiting for the right time to unleash it. And boy, did they pick the right opportunity. Unleashed it big time, and that was also a big time throw. So that changes <clears throat> things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe it'll eventually reward them, especially <laughs> as we get deeper in the game. A first down carry by Elliott. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. To throw on second and six, Prescott. No. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. I rush it. Remains here on a Sunday night. Back now in Arlington. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Prescott from the gun on third. Fighting Hilton on the slant. Touchdown, Cowboys! T.Y. Hilton, already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Cowboys are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. And that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Win probability index. This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team has played, to me, what I've seen, they absolutely deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. Extra point by Mara, up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out on the field. Ten-point game. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Going for Evans, but that pass is intercepted. 
And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. So a nice play defensively by the rookie coming up with the INT. And that's a late round pick right there, making a first round impact. And a lot of these day three corners end up winding up on nice. special teams and sub packages and even on the practice squad. But he's really made an impact on this defense. Uh, he comes up with the interception see. there. The time to get another look at this Cowboys offense. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll try the right side with Elliott. Andrew Van Ginkel there on the stop. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where <clears throat> covering the football, taking the run care game of the just ball, ain't there. All the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Now a give here to Pollard. And he'll take it into nice. the end zone for the Cowboy touchdown. I think I just put the nail in the coffin. A 16-yard touchdown run. Thank you. The Cowboys are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. I think all teams probably like seeing that schedule for the first time. Looking at week one, oh good, we're at home. This is why you want to be home in week one. They're looking sharp. And I agree with you totally. That's what you want. But there carries a little extra pressure with that as well because you and I both know protecting the home field, winning your home games is paramount in this league. So you go into it, yeah, we want it, but now you actually have to go out and prove it. Yeah, two sides to that coin and looking like they're going to protect it here in this one. Is the kickoff unit is I don't know, three minutes left, so away. it can still come back. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And they knew coming in that this would be a tough place to go in and win a season opener. But this has just been a performance, to be frank, not to be proud of here as they trail big in this fourth Merry quarter. Christmas. And Brady's throw there incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. Awesome. This team, they've really been put through the ringer. In Glad this you one. had a good Christmas. So the incompletion, and now it's second and ten again from the 25-yard line. Brady going to throw. He completes it to Evans. And they work this well on field across the 45. 22 yards there, a first down. Told you they can come back. Now Brady. And this one caught by Cameron Brady. Nope. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 34. From the gun, it's Brady. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. That would have been bad Brady's if he got it. Completion on first <laughs> down leads to a second and 10. Again, he'll drop to throw. Over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 15-yard oh line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Over the middle to Evans. And all the way down inside the five to the four Brady now to throw to the goal line nice. but it's incomplete nice and break on if he could have hung on instead it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free 
Second down and goal. Brady. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Russell Gage from four yards out. And the Buccaneers have got it back to a two-score oh, no. game here in the fourth. I hit him. And the kick makes it through, but flags come Push flying in as well. It appears we're going to get a roughing call tacked on. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping oh. that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up. I messed up. Illegal touching. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. It'll be a handoff to Pollard. And he's able to get across midfield and down into Buccaneer territory. Now the Bucs going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things Drive over back, prior to this upcoming second down play. Run for Pollard. And this won't mm. be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as it comes with a minute 25 left to go in the contest. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Going for it. They'll run forward with Pollard. Oh, and no. This will depend on the mark. I'm not sure he pushed the line forward. And indeed, he did not. They stop him. Tom Brady in the offense. Down by 10. A minute 17 remains. That might come back to haunt me. The first of a series of events that will need to break their way. But bottom line, they're still alive. To throw is Brady. And it's caught. It's Chris Godwin. Go, go. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Brady to throw. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. That was a good game. Back to throw. Brady. His throw incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. That's okay. Clock rolling here, about to hit 30 seconds. Well, that throw by Brady incomplete. Now the question is, we got this. Trying to kick the field goal right here, knowing that you need two scores. I would be thinking about it if I were on that sideline. Get the field goal now, try and get the touchdown later. Crossing right and it hits his man. It's Jones. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Now Brady. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. One final try now for Brady. And he's going to go down. Sack back in the 13 yard line. The defense held up. Nice. But partner, that'll do it. You know, these week one primetime games, they always seem to have a little bit more electricity, a little more anticipation, a fun one tonight, and a lot of fun ones that we have on the road ahead. And partner, I love the word you just used there, electricity. What's up, Fly? Were out there, weren't they? And let's face it, both of these teams came in with the idea, get off to the start. Get off to a 1-0 start and get your season going. That could spark an excellent season for them. They've got that in their pocket now. So for Dallas, they start the campaign with a victory in front of an enthusiastic home crowd for a Sunday night. That was a heck of a game.
It's Madden NFL 23 on EA Sports. And we've got the Bengals' veteran linebacker. He was terrific defensively last week with 11 tackles. It's the Bengals and the Cowboys coming up next. I actually like this one better than last year's. I think they did a good job with this one. Two teams here, each off to 1-0 and starts as this one is underway on EA Sports. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Cincinnati's offense takes the field and leading the way for the reigning AFC champs is last season's comeback player of the year, a man who needs no introduction, Joe Burrow. Here's Burrow to throw right away. And the catch made, it's Tyler Boyd. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 16 yards on the game's first play and a quick first down. A first carry for the former Oklahoma Sooner, Joe Mixon. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Yeah, they're on your screen, Charles. The key and active guys out this week. And there's never anything good about any injury, but there's a silver lining to them. Go, go, go. Is that it creates opportunity for someone else on the depth chart. Will they take advantage of it with good play? Or have they not prepared well thinking they'll never get on the field and they'll go out there and hurt their team? Here's Burrow. And that's caught one more time by Burrow. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Sounds good. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. Ah. And a top priority for the defense is I'm not to doing very good here. Finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. The numbers for him from a week ago, seven catches, 70 yards. And I'd certainly expect them to use him quite a bit because he runs excellent routes, has good hands, and knows how to get open. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Here, here, here. here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They moved it well, but here's third down. Looking to pass. And that would be incomplete. We have ham, potatoes, sweet potatoes, broccoli. We have a good, like, a good mix. And that is no good. Oh, he missed it just wide of the upright. And this will remain a scoreless game. Well, that opening drive looked good for a moment there, but they'll wind up being turned away thanks to the missed field goal. And those especially hurt when you come into a game on the road. You're trying to get things to go your way early, and now you suffer a setback right out of the gate. The Cowboys about set to take over on offense. So they tried the 59-yarder and missed it, and now this offense starts just one yard shy of midfield. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Prescott off play action. That is caught by Lamb. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A gain there of 21 That was yards. nice. Second and short, lots of run downs. So it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. A nice run there, nine yards. And it'll be second down. The run's working a little bit Charles better this game. Last week, despite him not running the ball well, they told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give him the yardage that they needed. And they really want him to be that guy. And that's what they're doing early in this game. But that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. Touchdown! C.D. Lamb, his 
first touchdown of the new season. And the Cowboys get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Good thing I threw when I did, because I would have gotten killed. <laughs> Brett Maher on for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. <clears throat> Five plays here on that drive. And it's finished off by the touchdown from C.D. Lamb. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taken in at the three. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. This will probably be the last play of the quarter. Throwing now. Burrow on first down. Open man is Asiasi, the tight end. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Bengals in control of the football. As they've got it with a second and three forthcoming. <laughs> All right, I got this. Let's go. Now it's Burrow. Oh, I almost. Here's incomplete. I had it too. Jamar Chase, the intended receiver, and it's third and short. We get a peek here at this past draft class for them, and you know the front oh, office certainly prioritized certain traits that they were looking to take advantage of in this draft. Charles, a lot of speed, a lot of athleticism, a lot of talent here in this crew. And Brandon, one of the things I know about the best drafters in the business, they have a plan. And they find a way to stick to it on draft day, despite the chaos. They want to land some of the biggest names on their board. And in the end, this group, they came together, found people that really fit their team's identity, and selected them. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go. And sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. A quick throw knocked away. And nice breakup. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating. I got a pretty good defense. In, their head move. in this case, he just scared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. Man open. That's Jamar Chase complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the part. Cowboys 40. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. Burrow on play action. And this one is going to be off the mark. Too far out in front. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And he is swallowed up right now. Nice this drive, job. they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full ten yards here. Now Burrow. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And he's going to be well, stuck. they're not going to get a touchdown. Short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And Thank you. Fourth down. McPherson's kick is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So, from an offensive perspective, at least able to get on the board here, right in front of the two-minute warning. Yeah, now it's time to talk about complimentary football, isn't it? Because if the defense can force a three and out, there could be enough time on the clock that they can get the ball back for the offensive guys, and maybe put some more points on the board before they have. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. So here are the Cowboys to take over. They were winners a week ago over the Bucs. They lead here as well as they come up on first down. Prescott to throw it. Man open. That's complete to Dalton Schultz. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive. And it's a quick first down. 
Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, <clears throat> our score. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. Going and along. Stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me oh, in this no. game. No, no, the defense no, 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 has no, no, it no. covered. It's intercepted. Get back there. Picked Come up back. by Hilton. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six from the Bengals team. <laughs> Talk about taking momentum into the half with you, and so many teams have an emphasis on trying to score in the last two minutes of a half to carry that with them. It's sucked. not often talked about scoring on defense, though. That's extra mode. I got a lap at it, though. The locker room I hit the well. wrong button. This will be fielded inside the five. And they'll get him down inside the 30 up to 27. A week two underway around the NFL, and a reminder that later tonight it'll be Chicago and Green Bay in the Packers' home opener, the 101st season of that great rivalry. They had the 100th anniversary last year. And then tomorrow night, a treat, a Monday night doubleheader, Tennessee and Buffalo, 7.15 Eastern, and then Minnesota and Philly. Awesome. Thank Kicking you, Cindy. A little over an hour later. Well, we just saw something you don't ordinarily see, and that's him trying to deep ball after throwing a pick six on his previous pass. Normally, they give him something safe to get his confidence back. Instead, they let him fire it downfield, albeit unsuccessfully. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And a nickel look here for the Bengals as they try to defend this on third. Off the play fake, Prescott. Come on, catch it, catch it. No, and not you. Receptive. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And the Bengals are going to take possession of the football. Damn it, Dad. And I think this is a situation where a quarterback coach on the sideline is going to talk to a signal caller and say, listen, it's third and long and it's still early in the game. Let's not force things here. If we don't feel good about it, let's just check something down and pump the football. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. I'm going to lose this one. Yards the game there I'm on playing the stupidly. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. And now Burrow not enamored with the formation. Instead, he'll signal for a timeout. As he'll stop it with just over a minute to go, go. before halftime. I can't believe I threw two in a row. First and ten, Joe Burrow. Open man is Higgins, and he's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. A great effort there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Bengals will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And his guys will take a ten-point lead. <clears throat> they really touchdown are. Touchdown pass gets them six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. From the six. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. The Cowboy offense going to head out now late in this first half. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. Try to shake off the interception from the last oh. drive. He'll look to throw. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. Logan Wilson, the one who got in there and dropped him to the ground. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 20 <clears throat> seconds to go in the first half. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. It's complete here to T.Y. Hilton. Down inside the 10. Touchdown, Cowboys! T.Y. Hilton as the first half is winding down. And the Cowboys are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. 
Heck of a start to his season. He had two touchdowns in the opener last week. Another one here in week two. Well, I don't want to call him a touchdown machine this early, but sometimes you get locked in, you know, and you feel good about things. You get into that zone, and those touchdowns come in bunches. He may be off to that kind of a start. It's like he was shot out of a cannon. Now that's how you go back. This early, great momentum going forward for the rest of the year. He keeps this up. They'll soon be chanting MVP anytime he touches the ball. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Bengals drive about to get going. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening weekend. Let's see what's happening in week two. We'll get things started up at Ford Field in Detroit, where it was definitely a game with some intrigue, oh, wow. as you can see by the scoreline. Jared Goff, over 300 yards through the air with a Damn. touchdown pass as well. From there, let's stay in the Midwest and head down to Kansas City to check on the Chiefs at Arrowhead. And they were losers in that one to the visiting L.A. Chargers. Justin Herbert. Three touchdown passes as his guys bounce back from the defeat on opening weekend. Lastly, let's get you to MetLife Stadium to see what's happening with the Giants at home in East Rutherford. And it was the visiting Carolina Panthers who were victorious in that one. Sam Darnold, <coughs> three touchdown passes as his guys move to 2-0 on the young season. Time now for a check of the next-gen stats for the Bengals in that first half. And even though they've got a halftime lead, they're likely devising ways as we speak to try and get a little more production from their passing game. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, they too did throw the ball as well as they would have liked. And I think both teams would say there's room for improvement in the second half. Amen. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together. Hopefully I'll be able to pull this out. strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. Prescott's throw there caught by Gallup. And he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Give him eight yards on the play, and they pick up the first. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up a run the darn ball, pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school, smash mouth football. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game, second and ten. Now Pollard. And he'll be tackled at the 45, following a gain of just two. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Uh, Here's Brian Anger now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Yeah. 
He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. No return, but it goes down as just a punt of 31 yards. And the Bengals take over first and 10. Great. I think I sealed my fate in this one. Now it's Burrow. They'll set up the screen here to mix it. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. From the 25, here's second and six. Out of the shotgun, they run with Nixon. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Here we go, here we go. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And this is not going to be enough. Was Stop them. Of two yards and only got halfway there. But Hell the yeah. Half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. The Bengals bring out their punter now. As he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. He punted five times in the win last week as this one's away. It'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 23. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but close there quickly at the end. They go back to Pollard on second down, and he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. 48 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. We used to work relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? They'll run with Pollard. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. We have played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Here's Prescott. He's got his man. It's Gallup. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A game there of 30 big ones. Well, this is where an offense needs to show what it's made of. And in fact, where a quarterback needs to show what he's made of. Trying to engineer a fourth quarter comeback. And he hits a big one right there. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Here's Pollard. A beautiful fake. And they'll get this down to the 10. Nice. This game not quite as good Hell as yeah. the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. For a lot of guys playing this game, there was no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. First down, and it's Pollard again. Ooh, almost had it. On the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets... And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott, his third touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Cowboys have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. So a quarterback scramble, certainly a pass play, but he saw something, tucked it, and got in the end zone. A lot of quarterbacks, when they scramble, they're scrambling to create more time to throw the ball downfield. In this situation, as you noted, he that took that work and Zeke didn't get that hit. Play by him. Mar on for the extra point. It's up and good to make it 21-17. 
And so this drive spans seven plays. And it was all capped off by Dak Prescott, keeping it and taking it in on the touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. Here we go, here we go. The pressure is on now. They're being shut out here in the second half after a decent first half offensively. But they need their best drive of the game right here. The Burrow's throw taken in here by Chase. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Burrow will throw. He'll fight his tight end here, Asiasi. That one, a first down pickup of eight. But right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. And here we are. The they're going to drain that clock. Watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. So the Bengals in possession of the football here, here as we get your reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Here's Burrow. And that's caught one more time by Boyd. Gotta go. Gotta and he'll go. be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Here's Burrow completing this to Chase. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Jamar Chase, 45 yards. I want to see it again. Answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. And touchdown Damn. and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating. Yeah, part one is done, but now on the sideline, you can already see them scrambling down there. They're getting those defensive guys ready. Yes, you have to get those guys ready, and you also have to talk to your special teams guys. Make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. From the six. So Dak and the Cowboys down 24-21. A little over a minute and a half remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. to throw Prescott completes it to Hilton and they work this well up field across the 45 great way to start the drive 20 big ones in a first down well, they picked up a little bit of yardage there and now in this situation should be in no hurry to run a play really fast let the clock wind down got a man it's caught at the six yard line a big play here for Dallas 48 yards. And this is obviously a spot where you lean on your stars. Get the ball to them in open space and let them do what they do. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for. He takes it across for the touchdown. And they've taken the lead late in the final battle of the four. Wow. Wow. What an outstanding drive right there to take the lead and also Charles didn't leave their opposition with a whole lot of time on the clock. Yeah, I like the way that you're viewing this because they did a tremendous job to put themselves in a position to win, but they can't celebrate just yet. They've got to clamp down on any big plays and force them to use up those timeouts without making any head away. Scoring seven, three K drive. And it's capped off by the late touchdown that puts him out in front here in the final minute of the contest. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Four-point game. And now all the focus, it shifts to the Bengals. Trailing by four, 26 seconds to go. And they've got to travel the full 75 yards, and time is obviously a huge factor here. First and ten. 
That's complete to Chase. At five yards, not going to cut it here. That clock continues to run. run. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Forces one there. It's a potential dagger as it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys have just about sewn up this football game. He's at it again, Charles. He had the pick six last week. Not a pick six here, but an interception. That's another Oski, because that's the word we use when we intercept the pass. Oski tells your team to rally around and block for you. Well, that worked really well last week because he had made it all the way to the end zone. This week, you got Yaski. Maybe not a touchdown, but boy, he's playing really well. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use it. Now a final chance to stop it here as a timeout comes in with 10 seconds left in the game. On second down, it's Pollard. And he'll be brought down right on the 50. A gain of three. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. <clears throat> that was an excellent come from behind victory, Charles, especially there in the fourth quarter. Both offense and defense were clicking. They're going to feel good about this one. Boy, are they ever, because the deficit they faced... I should have lost that game. Small. They obviously did not give up on that one. And in I'm the doing end, good. How about that come from behind victory? They'll cherish this one for a while. So for the Cowboys, they use the favorable early schedule to their advantage as they move to 2-0. and And they will hit the road next week to take on the New York Giants. Meanwhile, for Cincinnati, they'll <laughs> fall to one and one. And they'll try and turn things around next week as they have a date at MetLife Stadium with. For real, I should have lost that. I'm glad I didn't, but still. Welcome to Weekly. This shows some big. This is how you access the new player help screen. This is your team profile. Choose focus players each week who will earn extra. Yeah, I ain't doing all that. Screw it. Thank you. I don't know what's going on in my ear. It's the National Football League on EA Sports. It's the first weekend of autumn and the NFL is in full swing as off we go on EA Sports. Fielded just outside the goal line. And beyond the 20, Ooh. but not by much. In fact, just a yard past the 21. Here come the Giants, led out by their former sixth overall pick out of Duke back in 2019. Daniel Jones under center. Jones looking to throw it on the first play. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. 
We take a peek at the list of inactives for this week's game. And gosh, this early in the season, Charles, injuries already accumulating for this squad. You got to wonder in this organization, they're just saying to themselves, well, hopefully we're just getting them out of the way early so we can make a late season push when we have everyone back. It certainly feels that way with the number of injuries they've had already. Calling no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Well, this defense for the Cowboys, very strong last week as they helped their squad improve to 2-0 on the young season. And no matter what's done throughout a ball game, it always comes back to blocking and tackling. That's the essence of football. But I think it's hard for people. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. <clears throat> Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. On fourth down, Jamie Gillen on to punt for the Giants. Yeah, last week in the loss, five punts as he gets this one away. And yeah, taken right at the 35. A good kick that time, but also a pretty good 15-yard return. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first All right, and let's 10. Get this going. Dak Prescott and Dallas taking the field for their first possession. Dak now in his seventh season in charge of the Cowboys. Two-time Pro Bowler. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Up the middle, here's Elliott. Aziz Ojolari there on the tackle. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. On second down, Elliott once more. Two runs in a Stop row. Stopping the run again. Two yards to show for it. Defensively, we always know that he is tough to run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what Marcus is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path. To the oh, no. Kick. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Kayvon Thibodeau in there to record the second sack of his young NFL career. Anger is on to punt, and he gets this one away. Fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. I should have threw it away. The giant football oh, well. first and 10. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Yes. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back at the two. Oh, damn. Micah Parsons. Give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. On second down, here's Barkley. And he'll get it up to the 12-yard line here. And the Cowboys here on third down, bringing in an extra defensive back. Throwing Jones. The throw for Galladay is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to Here we go again. Uh, just stadium sound effects. Remember, he threw two picks in the loss last week, and now another here in this first quarter. And sometimes, partner, this is the result of a quarterback who simply tried to do too much. Feels like he's trying to make up for what he did last week, and he can't do it all on one throw. And he's going to ball his way down to about the one-yard line. A good pick up there, seven yards, and it's going to be second and goal now. They'll try again with Elliott, and he will take it in for a Cowboys score. Ezekiel Elliott, his first touchdown here of the campaign. And the Cowboys use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. point by Moore up and good and it's now a 7-0 game they have the short field and they made quick work of it just two plays to get into the end zone the kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away taking it about the one 
You know, I haven't gotten a rushing touchdown yet. Oh, no, wait. Yes, I did. I got one last game. game could be called a measuring stick game, but I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra injury. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra I'm sorry. Juice, but at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Ready to roll for the well, neither offense is doing good in this game, so. The Giants with the football. Second and eight coming from the 19. Throwing on second and eight. Jones. Got a man. That's Richie James. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit. I like turkey. First down for the Giants as they pick up 12. Now Jones. As this goes to Daniel Bellinger. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Not always. It depends on how it's prepared. Game. If you if you prepare it right, it's play ten, Jones. Steps and he can't mostly not dry. And he's brought down. Loss of ten as multiple defenders get to it. He continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure, and these sacks are starting to pile up. See, I don't mind me being a little dry. One, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. It doesn't if really bother me. Constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Throw in deep for Galladay. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. On fourth down, nice. here's Jamie Gillen on the punt. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. And now here come the Cowboys. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? Yeah, this see, I don't like dark meat. Leads, they don't last very long unless you continue like to in a soup or something, yeah. Offense. But I can't... Yeah, no. Elliott going to get it again on second down. And he can muster only a couple here to the 24. It's on the clock, second quarter, seven. It's, it's not game. my thing. A reminder coming up at halftime. Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches. Two-minute drill. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. On is the punter Brian Ager to kick this one away. Seven yard punt, a return of just three. And they nice. take over first and ten. <laughs> the offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. And no doubt he's come out of the gate strong only in week three, and you see the numbers thus far. And we always talk about identity, setting a tone, you know, getting getting the groundwork laid for the season or, or for a game. And that's what they've done with the running game so far. It reminds me of when I first went to the unit. Throw for Galladay. He's got him again. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. They're going to stop throwing his way by midseason. He's picked off a pass here in the first half alone. Again, another great read defensively. Oh, God. And you just see him get in the right position to make the play and get his guys the football back. He clipped that, Dallas please. Dallas gets set to take the field. And now they start in plus territory following that turnover as they'll try to get some points here before halftime. Following the interception, here's Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And they're going to work this down to about the 
32-yard line. Nice job by the defense figuring that play out and holding it to a short game, but I don't think the offense is going to be daunted. They actually accomplished their goal there. Now they've got them aware that they can throw a screen at them. Maybe Thank you. the pass rush down a little bit, and they can throw it downfield. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Draw play, Elliott. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Thank you. Throwing on second and eight. Prescott. Oh. That ball nearly intercepted. The rookie had his hands on it, but couldn't pull it in. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. On fourth down, Prescott goes off, and on comes the Cowboy kicker, Brett Maher, for the field goal try. The kick by Maher is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, they already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning <coughs> recipe if they can keep this up. And the Giants with one final possession here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation. That was nice to take a shot. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Throwing on second and three. Jones, and that one complete to Hodgins. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. On first and ten, Jones. That he will go down. A Cowboys sack. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. Jones. A final shot before break. And that is incomplete. Oh, well, at least we're so both we wrong like crap. Time here with the visiting Cowboys out on top. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll begin up at Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte, where it was the visiting Saints who were able to walk away with the road victory. Andy Dalton, three touchdown passes, as his guys stay unbeaten on the year. From there, let's head off and check out a second game. And it was the visiting Jacksonville Jaguars that go home with the victory. Trevor Lawrence, a strong performance there, over 300 yards passing with three touchdowns in the victory. Finally, we head to the shores of Lake Erie, see what's going on with the Cleveland Browns. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Pittsburgh Steelers. Nick Chubb. Two touchdown runs to lead the way. With that, let's take a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Cowboys. And there were a few factors as to why they built this good size advantage, but the rushing numbers were not all that amazing. We'll see if they can pick it up in the second half. No, they really weren't. Meanwhile, for the Giants, there's a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And they'll need to get things in gear as they trail here at the break. Both teams making their final adjustments for the second half to come. And to bring the action your way, we go back to MetLife Stadium and Brandon God. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang. And Hopefully the second half will be better. Everyone back in for quarter number three. He will return this from deep in the end zone. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Down the numbers. There he goes. He will take this all the way. Touchdown. Nice. going to cut down on the number of opportunities but if you've got a special guy you give him the green light no matter where he fields it in the end zone and in this case it paid off handsomely well, he fielded it deep in the range of emotions maybe like oh no don't and then all of 
a sudden you see him break it, you're like, yeah, yeah, way to go. Yeah, sometimes you have to remind your head coach that he approved the green light for bringing it out from deep <laughs> in the end zone, and that's exactly why he did. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And yeah, that makes our score. I saw that hole and I went right for it. <laughs> so let's try this again after the kick return TD. Here's yet another Thank you. kickoff. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. Here's the Giants offense now getting set to start the third quarter. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 22. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's caught by Galladay. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Okay. 33 <laughs> yards that time. That was pretty cool. Hold on. I'll look in a second. Jones, Jones hit and the ball's out. It's picked up by the Cowboys. But they have possession. Oh, that's awesome. accumulation of the pressure <laughs> we've seen all game. I mean, he's been on the turf a whole lot because Welcome of back. Eventually, something else happens as well, and this time it was a turnover. Yeah, caught up to him. They're throwing to start the drive, but that went incomplete. That's tremendous field position that they were given following the turnover, but they've still got work to do. Yeah, my throwing ain't that good in this game. And the coverage we're seeing isn't going to make it easy. On second down, Elliott. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there. Ah, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Of a big second half. Out of his hands quickly to CD Lamb. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. 23 yards on the play. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. Now a <laughs> we almost had it. On first down, but it winds up incomplete. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing Why, what happened? physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extreme. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. So they're able to capitalize there on the short field, and that might prove to be the score that turns out the lights. The party's over. Oh, sorry about that. That's an old reference there, folks. But, yeah, they've been the better of the two teams by far. That's great complimentary football right there. Defense gets the turnover, sets up the short field, and the offense goes right out and scores to open up a pretty sizable lead. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. Fields it right around the goal line. Oh, good return up past no, you the don't. 30. <laughs> and a good return able to get out across the 35 to the 36. I'm stopping that before it happens. The possession switching back to the New York Giants. He thought he was like going to get there. a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Jones now on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And there's another stop. One of the league's best defenses is certainly bringing it again this week. Yes, we are. To throw once more on second and ten. Jones and his crew will take over with a football at the 35 yard line. Still down. Thank you. Several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. 
Meanwhile, Dax throw pulled in by Lamb. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? Hell yeah. Let's go. Inside give to Elliott. Room here to run. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always What's think that? to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start nope. for him. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run step for step down. <laughs> I'll have to remember to tell T that because we got him Coco Bombs. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Over the middle, hold in by Lamb. And a broken tackle could not free him. Taken down right at the 10 yard line. And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. Looking to throw. Prescott. Going for Hilton, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the USC man, Adore Jackson. And the Giants will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. So that, Charles, may be the play that this defense has been looking for. They've hung in there, and if they lose this game, it won't be from a lack of effort on their part. The key question is, can the offense finally do something because we're into the third quarter and a zero is still glowing on the scoreboard. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back now here in East Rutherford. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Flushed out right. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. The Giants on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and seven. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play. Broke it up last second. He could not pull it in. Hell yeah. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. And it's incomplete. They could not convert. And they turn it over. I didn't know you hated no. Nope. go on fourth, but come up empty. And Dallas, they'll take over. Don't feel bad. I don't like no either. Position. So here are the Cowboys to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They go down again. again. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on his face. Is it? And I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders no. in the box coming. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Nick I couldn't turn around. Kowski, able to maneuver in for the sack. The kick by Maher is good, and the lead increases even further. Wow, I blew it's that. It's 27 to nothing now. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know, if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. And New York set to take the field. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Now here's the 
There's a pass there on you first go. down that's knocked away and incomplete. On second and ten, Jones. Throw left side complete. That's James. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short. Maybe it was just a bad one. Less than a yard. It happens. Looking to throw. Jones. And this pass broken up. Well, the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The Giants go on fourth but come up empty. And that will force a turnover on downs. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. The give is to Elliott. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Just two, oh, minutes two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. On second down, Elliott once more. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough 931 days. That is out, awesome. Somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. The CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. So the starting field position was terrific following the surprising turnover on downs, but the end result, only three points. Simply stated, I think you have to look at that as a missed opportunity. New York's offense back out there and set to go. At this point, partner, things Nothing seems to be looking for me right now. Here in the fourth quarter, facing the big deficit. I just, what silver linings, what can they look to do here offensively? You know, it's funny, I talked about this with a coach in the offseason and kind of had this scenario, like, what feels good to you? Or what feels good to your team? You're down big. You really have, like, one possession left, and you're trying to put points on the board that don't matter. But do they? And he told me they actually do matter. And in this situation, he's going to try and run the best offense he can run, have at least a little bit of confidence to take away from that game. So right now, they're going to try their best to get something up on the board and not get shut out. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds left to go in the game. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. And the Cowboys are going to take possession Flip that, of please. the football. And they've got the huge lead. Now they have another <clears throat> Actually, interception wait to clip it. on the defensive side. Seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road and help seal away one of their best efforts of the season. The Cowboys okay, it. offense heading back out and ready to go again. They're looking at a third straight win here if they can hold on. Oh, you're fine. The first down carry by Elliott, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight Thank coming you. up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Again, it's Elliott, and he's nope. going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was they held the ball. Probably be the only shutout I get this season. <laughs> nah, it's all good.
Someday I'm going to that stadium. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. From the 10. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Cowboys taking the field on offense, and for a seventh season, it's Dak Prescott who brings him out. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. The numbers for Zeke from last week. 15 carries, 64 yards, and a touchdown. Well, to no one's surprise, he gets an early rep right there, and they've been playing their best ball of the season as they built this winning streak. And that includes the ground game, where he's kept the offense productive and put them in position to win ball games. The question now is, Me too. this defense that he's facing do what others have it and finally put a stop to this streak? Seven yards there and a first down. Me too. The Cowboys hit 3 0 here in the month of September. And they come in on a pretty good roll here. Winners of three straight. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution. Oh, their no. Their oh. All on display. That, that was week. nice, too. For more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. As you see, they have dealt with their fair share of injuries this season. But uh, Charles, that hasn't stopped them from putting together a very solid that was campaign a nice to throw. a record thus far. I think a lot of credit has to go internally. Look, we always want to praise the head coach for holding the team together. But to me, it's the guys in the locker room putting on the uniform. Those starters who have stayed healthy, they've welcomed the backups into their ranks and showed them how to get it done. And this team, they've stayed afloat all season doing just that. Open man ram, it's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So opening drive, third down, they complete the slant to move the sticks. And Thank you. It's a high percentage pass when you throw it. And receivers like to run that route because it gets the ball in their hands pretty quickly. Just a couple of quick steps upfield, break towards the middle, the ball should be there, and then they can get do some work afterwards. Still not Two doing good with the running. There, it'll be second down. Now Prescott. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area. But they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. A good-looking drive for the Cowboys so far. It's a first down. Solid opening drive so yeah, I know. far, Charles. They've moved this football I always do. goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. Ah. One of the better coaches in the league always tells me. On offense, I want their body blows. Not doing crap like ball. that. And finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping to one uppercut. We'll take care of the end of this drive. Elliott going to get it again on second down. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and touchdown! Michael Gallup, his second touchdown on the season. And the Cowboys are on the board first here this afternoon. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter, and they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point. End I could not have done zone. that any better. Teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them. But they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive. Maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Commanders trot to the field for their first possession, and it's the seventh-year quarterback out of North Dakota State leading the way. His third NFL team, Carson Wentz. 
Carson Wentz and the Washington Commanders are hoping to provide stability for each other starting in 2022. It's the third team in three years for Wentz, and the fourth starter in four years for Washington. The big thing with Wentz has always been staying on the field. And last season in Indianapolis, he played a full 17 games, leading the Colts to a 9-8 record and almost into the playoffs. After one, seven nothing. Audience. Uh, probably let's go, Cowboys. The Washington with the football here to begin quarter number two. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and ten. Wentz now on first down. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. Not today. Ain't happening. On first and 10, it's Robinson. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little Damn bit it. high. They don't have great <laughs> leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. On first down, wins. And incomplete on the deep ball. Nice. This is what Green remembers when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender. I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Five yards. Now it's third and five. He was hoping to get to the edge, but it did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let them outside, but they can really stretch. And I think the ball's out. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Oh. Can almost see inside his face mask. I'm sorry. Relief. <laughs> he coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone came around with Lucky Horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Defensive end, Demarcus Lawrence applied the heat. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. <laughs> Another try after the first down sack. Wentz looking for Dotson, and he's got him. Touchdown, Washington. I got lag. Jahan Dotson with his first career NFL That's touchdown. Okay. And the Commanders are an extra point away from evening this one up. Extra point by Sly is up and good, and we are tied at seven. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. Each team's had it, each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away from the 10. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. A two fantastic games coming up to wrap up week four, the first weekend in October. Uh, tonight, the Chiefs and Buccaneers from Tampa. That's a rematch of Super Bowl 55, of course. And then Monday night, rematch of last year's NFC Championship game, the Rams and Niners from Santa Clara. Coverage on that one, 8-15 Eastern. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. To throw is Prescott. And nope. this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. An incomplete pass on second down. That muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Here's Prescott. Going to take a shot for Gallup. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. I just can't seem to hang on to it. Over with a first and ten. I don't know what's going on. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. 
This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Wentz looking to throw on third and two. Completes it to Samuel. And he's going to have a commander's first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Wentz to throw again. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. So second down and ten. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Shotgun now for Wentz. And his throw is incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here. Because gotta keep that pressure on him. Down, they gotta worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give him another shot here in the first. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies and it's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the commanders. I'm sorry. Possession of the football. Oh, come on. So cancel the interception, pass oh, interference. And you know what else gets canceled? The return yardage. Makes the play, but now it's all for naught. <laughs> Throwing on first is Wentz. Throw right side complete to Dotson. Now the commander's going to burn the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. From just shy of midfield, Wentz. To the right side and complete to Thomas. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Wentz going to try and throw on third. And he'll go right back to Thomas, complete again. And he's going to have a commander's first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard game there on third and two. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. It's picked up. A live ball. Taking it right down Broadway. And with a clock reading zeros, he is into the end zone. What an exclamation mark to the end of the second quarter. Indeed. Indeed. Well, you might say a lifeline there on the final play of the half. A chance for a late three to open the lead even further, but instead everything changes on the block field goal return. I was interested in watching them go in at the half to see what their body language was going to be. But we know what it is now. They've run off the field feeling really good about a chance in the second half. Emotional damage. Extra point by Moore. Up and good. And that will take us to the end of the first half of play. Damn. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send John over to Ugh. Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports halftime report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon. We'll get back to you guys in a bit. But first, let's take a look around the NFL here on this first Sunday of October. We'll start with one of those classic NFL matchups. The Giants hosting Chicago at MetLife Stadium. And they have gone to the halftime break with the Bears out in front. David Montgomery. A touchdown run in that first half. From there, let's get down to Baltimore to check in on the Ravens at home at MNT Bank Stadium. And they've gone to the half with the lead over the visiting Bills. A touchdown run for Gus Edwards. Finally, let's get to Philadelphia. Check on the Eagles at home at Lincoln Financial Field. And they've got the lead in that ball game over the visiting Jaguars. Devontae Smith, a touchdown reception. On now to a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for Washington. And they weren't able to get a whole lot done throwing the football. That'll likely be a big key if they want to turn things around in the second half. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, we check out their numbers on the ground as they'll try to keep the momentum going into the second half. Told you the run doesn't work for me. Both teams making their final preparations for the second half of action. So with that, let's get you back out to Arlington where we rejoin Brandon and Charles.
All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Washington down on the scoreboard, but they are getting the football first here, and we are back underway on EA Sports. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Here come the commanders for the first position. I got to think of what I'm going to play quarter. next week. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. The opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. To throw, it's wins. And that is incomplete. The Bears are going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half. Still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened having to go to the bench. But this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work while they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. So here are the Cowboys to take over. They're on a three-game winning streak, and right now looking good in this one as well. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 46. He'll hand it off to Elliott to begin the drive. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Seemed like Dak certainly made the right read there to hand it off to Zeke. When you have those two in the backfield, Dak Prescott at quarterback, Ezekiel Elliott at running back, you've got a symbiotic, synergistic relationship that puts a lot of defenses in a lot of stress. Nope. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Bobby McCain, and the commanders are going to have it here. That was stupid. The 25. Well, that one was in the air for an agonizingly long time. Uh, just begging to be picked off, wasn't it? It's one thing if you're throwing a ball like that, trying to throw someone open or lead them into an area. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Oh, so Diggy Zauer able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. Meanwhile, Winston's throw taken in by Samuel. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. So the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Wentz. And that one too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. To throw is Wentz. Thomas brings it in. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 23 yards to pick up there. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 38. Robinson on a give right side. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Working from the gun, Wentz. And the Cowboys pressure him again. gets there this time for the sack. Hell yeah. That's Anthony Barr coming in from his linebacker spot to bring him to the ground. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, that's into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off by Anthony Barr. He violated a big time no no in throwing that pick. Rolling right, throwing it across his body. And you know that your dad taught you that in the backyard when you were a tyke. Yep. Don't do it. The problem, every now and then you get away with it. This time. One handed, too. And out now come the Cowboys. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ballgame. 
Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes, get a little more momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to Damn watch it. them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Cowboys with a the football. They'll be looking to tack onto their lead as we get set for the fourth. On right, second down, Elliott once more. Zeke with a shake and bake. And he's able to get more than half of what they needed. That brings up a third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. At least got five. Tim Carey now for Elliott. Bulldozes past him. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. 42 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, that's a defense coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. This offense so far on third down, they've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This will be third and six. Ah. Here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. This to make it a two-score game. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in down. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. <laughs> And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. A tougher task for them now. That turnover on their last possession led to the field goal, meaning that they have to now try to erase a two-score deficit here in the fourth. The throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. From the gun, it's wins. Just short of the 45 at the 44. On first and 10, here's Wentz. And they will get him down, but not before he gets very good yardage there, as that will lead us right into the two-minute warning. Wentz now on first down. And that would get to be off target and incomplete. That's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle. So they're ready if a tackle happens in bounds. Wins his throw complete there to Thomas. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Nine yards, not quite enough. And they'll be left now with third and one. To throw his wins. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And this one Got is it. incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left. And this has to be a first down or a touchdown. But this game's over. Sly 
able to put this one through. And they're back within a touchdown. It's 17-10. to So this time, the protection holds up for him just fine, and he's able to bang it through. I think their special teams coach got the point across. He gave him a pretty good earful after the block earlier. And this time, there's no penetration. So they're able to pick up three. Fielded right around the eight. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. Dallas offense set for this next drive. You will, and Cindy. This game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see him take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. Again to Elliott. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They'll try and run some clock now with Elliott to about the 35. Second Never down. works. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. And now the question everyone's wondering, look at the clock, late fourth quarter, do they put the ball in the air here on third? I don't. I run the football. I tell the offensive line, no leakage up front. I want my running back hit as I hand the ball off. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Brian Poole. And the commanders are in great shape here as they take over at their 46 yard line. Out there, set ready for this next the next drive, the Washington offense. And after the field goal last time, let's see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the offense will get this one back. Boy, that could have been catastrophic at this late stage of the game, but they avoid disaster. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. He's going to let it fly. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now, give him credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. One final try now for Wentz. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. What a ball game this was. What an atmosphere this was. And the home team getting the late touchdown, getting the victory. And now everybody in this building can file away with smiles on their faces. And what do real estate people tell us all the time? It's location, location, location. So being at home, that can be a big deal. Because remember, they were down to their final chance. He's just talking about getting lucky. It's the NFL on EA Sports. And here's the pick artist himself, Trayvon Diggs. The first quarter of the season already in the rearview mirror, and off we go in week five on EA Sports. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20. Not a bad return. 22. Dak Prescott and Dallas taking the field for their first possession. Dak now in his seventh season in charge of the Cowboys. Two-time Pro Bowler. They start on the ground with Elliott. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 
That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Good sign here early. Everybody on offense there up front in the backfield in sync on that play. So much talk about what do you do to neutralize home field advantage? Well, teams that run the football effectively, they often have a way of neutralizing it in a big way when they have those types of runs. So five yards here, five on the play. And it's second down. And here, Charles, is a look at the inactive, some of the guys that are out today due to injury. Yeah, and this is where the preseason work comes into play for some of those backups. It's not just them getting some experience on the field, but preparing each week in practice as if they were going to play. And when you have guys like that on your team, you got a chance for success when the injury bug hits. So after a good run by Zeke, I'm not knocking it, the run's working. Prescott from the gun. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. The Cowboys are the perfect 4 0 to start the campaign. And they've been playing their best football of the year. Winners are four in a row. And they were able to tough it out last week, a close one score game. And those are the kind of wins that pull you together as a team because everyone gains confidence and they feel like they can continue to get better. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. What a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea. Slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. Out of his hands quickly to C.D. Lamb. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. The end result, 21 yards. Prescott now. They'll set up the screen to Allen. Yeah, it didn't work. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. 46 yards rushing for him now to this point. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott with career touchdown number 70. And the Cowboys are on the board first on the road here in L.A. Well, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And a start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. I believe she still has it, yes. The number one overall pick back in 2018, Baker Mayfield. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. The numbers on the ground for Hunt a week ago. 17 carries, 72 yards, and a touchdown. I can't remember the last time we did a game and the coach didn't talk about establishing the run first, but they've lost two straight games, so they still want to do that, but they've got to have some contingencies, some other options. Expect them maybe to throw it a little bit to open up things and maybe run a little bit more later in the game. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Mayfield gives this one to Hunt. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Neville Gallimore on the stop. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. 
Mayfield to throw it. He'll get this one underneath to Hunt. Just a gain of a couple there. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. And they'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, Mayfield. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. Nope. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. And let's gaze our attention on Ezekiel Elliott. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable. And really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here. Because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. Now he's looking just to add to his totals. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And his throw is going to be incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball, and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Yeah, this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. Holding. Offense. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it. Brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. Oh, that's awesome. Here's Powell on the return. I'm pretty sure she still has it. 31 here, 40 yard punt, nine on the return. And the Rams are going offense here for the first and 10. So good field position for the Rams as they come up first and 10 at their 36 yard line. Mayfield throw pulled in by Jefferson. And they'll get this down to around the 47 yard line. Jefferson really grew into the deep threat that they needed as it ramped up its passing attack, averaging a cool 16 yards per catch. One of the best marks in the league, and helping the Rams earn a ring. Back at it again, 2022, picking up a first down with a big play. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. From the 45 on second down, Mayfield. And he will go down. A nice. Sack. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Under got him again. They got to him again. Osa Odigizawa. He's the one to get him this time. And back-to-back -back sacks brings up fourth down. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. I don't know. He already has one, he has the 18. Found good room to run there, returns at 14 yards. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Ezekiel Elliott gets ready to go again here on offense as he shuffles onto the field. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. I don't know why I keep doing that. Now from about the 32. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. On the right side, it's Hilton with a catch. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 17 yards on the play. The Cowboys have a first down. Now Prescott. Over the middle, hold in by the rim. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. So first and 10 now from the 30. From 
the shotgun again to Elliott. They'll get it to the 23-yard line. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? So I'll take a 10 0 lead. Pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on Never the mind. And pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. So, barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. Short, short kick. One of the up will take it now. So, we have reached halftime with our score 10-0. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you, too, in just a bit. But first, let's get everybody caught up with what's going on around the NFL here in Week 5. We'll start by heading out west, State Farm Stadium in Glendale. And it's the Eagles who are out in front. Three touchdown passes there for Jalen Hurts. From there, we'll head east to check on the Panthers at home at Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte. And they trail in that one as it's the visiting 49ers who are out in front. Debo Samuel, a touchdown reception. Finally, let's take the trip across the Atlantic. See what's happening over in London. And they were winners in that one over the visiting New York Giants. Aaron Rodgers, three touchdown passes as his guys stay unbeaten on the year. With that, let's take a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Cowboys. And the ground game has been a big part of why they have this big lead. And you have to figure they'll lean on it a little bit more in the third and fourth quarters. Meanwhile, for the Rams, there's a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And they'll need to get things in gear as they trail here at the break. Both these teams, no doubt, making their final halftime adjustments as we speak. And for the call of the second half, we get it back out to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Rams set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail here as we resume play. And they'll start at the 25. As Teams are going way too good. I don't want to stop playing. Coming up in prime time here in week five, a couple of division rivalries on the docket. Beginning tonight in the AFC North with the Bengals and Ravens from Baltimore at 820 Eastern. Then tomorrow, Monday Night Football, under a heavy rush and down he Thank goes. you. Credit the sack to Leighton Vander Esch. I'd say it's not panic time yet, but let's be honest about it. Empty possession here, not what you're looking for when you're down a couple of scores. Absolutely not. Trying to start the second half off on the right foot. Unfortunately, going to give the ball up. After the sack on first down, Mayfield. It'll be a loss of 13 on the play, and it's going to be third down and forever. A loss of 13 yards. Boy, tough spot here as they approach the line of scrimmage. A long way to go to try to pick up this first down. On third down, here's Hunt. And not much there as he gets it up to Stop about the five-yard line. Just a two-yard pickup, and that should necessitate a call for the punt team here on fourth down. Here's Riley Dixon now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Good coverage there holds him to just a two-yard return following a punt of 44. So here are the Cowboys to take over. They're working on a four-game winning streak, and they lead this one as well right now as they start first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. They'll get this up to the 47 and brought down there. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he's trying to dart through. No push for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. On third down, it's Prescott. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Elliott. 
I got first. Down to the 42 yard line. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Just a yard on the oh, first end, damn. Terry, so it's second and nine. Up the middle, here's Elliott. And he's got some... Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. Touchdown, Cowboys! Now that's a drive that makes everyone happy on that bench because they accomplish exactly what they set out to do. Take care of the football, eat up a little clock, end up in the end zone. Now they've got a cushion for the rest of the game. So they didn't just help themselves offensively, they helped their defense out as well. I'm finding them gaps. And the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17 0. So that drive spanned five plays, and it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. They're down 17-0, really needing to find that offensive spark on this drive as they have it with a first and 10. Mayfield down. That's into a crowd and intercepted. I was just about to say, I haven't gotten an interception yet. are going to take possession of the football. And right about now, you start to think, and maybe they're I was just thinking think, it, too. Gosh, maybe I really was. Maybe happen for us in this game. Well, it's a thought that is worth having because so far in this game, this defense has not just had the upper hand. They've appeared to be a step ahead, maybe even two steps, to everything they've done. They've had an answer for everything this offense has thrown at them. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would two-minute offense. This is what NFL offense is called four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down. At the same time, keep advancing. We still got a yard out of it. And a short gain there down to the 37 yard Ugh. line. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Prescott on third and two. Oh my God, I gave it right back to him. Intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. And the Rams are gonna have the football here at their own 35 yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. This offense trying to change the script here a little bit, CD. Trailing on the scoreboard in the last time out on the very first play of the drive, they threw that interception. And you definitely saw his coaches, teammates come over to him on the sideline trying to help him shake it off because in this game, his team is down right now. So it's important to make sure you get some confidence back from both the quarterback and the entire offense. Otherwise, those mistakes could continue to pile up. Three quarters in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Rams trailing, but they do have the football as we start the fourth and final quarter. Now a throw here. Nice. Hold in, and they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. The offense on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This time it's third and 3. That's into the hands of two. Yeah, they got it. And he is going to have a Rams first down. It won't be by much. He needed three, and he got three, barely. But the mark shows first down. Mayfield with it once more. Complete. Jefferson the target. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. 
Well, I can put my defensive cap on right cool. now. I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout. And all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. They'll run with Hunt on second down. How the hell did I miss? Nothing as he stopped behind the line. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. I bet it looks cool. Need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Mayfield from the gun on third down. That's complete to his tight end Higby. And the Rams are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. That's caught at the two. Second and goal from the one. Here's Mayfield. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, the Hell yeah. and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give us... And it's nah. complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Van Jefferson, his second touchdown on the season. And the Rams are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that'll cut the lead to 17-7. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Cowboys are able to recover. They knew they needed a miracle. All right. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. Elliott going to get it again on second down. They find some Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott. His third touchdown of the game and fourth on the year. And the Cowboys add on to their lead, and they are also closing in on a fifth straight victory. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Eh, sort of. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. There's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory, but it does not appear that that's going to be the... And now this is intercepted. My goodness. And the Cowboys are going to take possession Flip of the it. football. Smiles and high fives on that defensive sideline. That interception will cap off what was truly a tremendous performance. Yeah, if you can hold a team to seven points in the NFL, that's the kind of day that you feel really good about. And I do know a few guys are going to think to themselves, held them to seven. We made one more play. Could have had our shutout. Dallas offense. Thank you. For this next drive. And it's looking all the more likely that a fifth straight win is going to be in the cards. They'll try to run some time here with a first and ten. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. That kind of run on first down, that's a winning type of a run. That just sets things up for them moving forward as they begin the drive. On second down, Elliott once more. And he'll get this down only to the 18. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really I'm about to do something stupid. Game. And that Real stupid. One, that's okay. They'll take him in short, steady bursts. Yeah, he's got it. And 
it's so close. He gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now Elliott, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. They'll try again with Elliott, and he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Ezekiel Elliott, his second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Cowboys are well on their way to a 5-0 start as they extend their lead. Mar on for the extra point. And the lead is now 24. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. Ready for what, Cindy? I'm confused. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Facing a big fourth quarter deficit here, things not looking good. You know, this offense, though, they've been in the top half of the NFL so far this season, but in this one, well, their defense has really struggled. Now, one final throw here is incomplete, and that is how this one will come to an end. Well, this was a really nice display, Charles, of complimentary football, especially how much they were humming in the second half to pull away and get the victory. Really a complete I'm performance. And so much fun when you're able to have everyone contribute, both sides of the ball. You go That sounded so wrong. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Well, this should be a good one. It's week six of the National Football League. And here's the pick artist himself, Trayvon Diggs, who's stating his place among the league's best with six picks this season. It's the Cowboys and the Eagles on Sunday night. Set to go now in week six of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. The Taking Eagles. At the three. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21 yard line. And we're both line. undefeated. Now for the first time, we get to see this Philadelphia offense led out by their dual threat quarterback now in his third season, Jalen Hurts. And they are in rhythm on offense because of him. I mean, right now, he's got everything going the way he wants to, finding the receivers the way he wants to, looking over defenses. No interceptions is the number I lock in on before a touchdown pass isn't so bad either. Yeah, what a game he had last week. Play action. Here's Hurts. Looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. What the hell? Wow, just one snap in, partner, and the complexion of this game has already changed because for the defensive side, they just handed their offense a short field and a big early advantage. And even though it's only the first snap of the game, we're going to look back on this one and see if it has lasting effects as this game moves on. The Cowboys taking the field on offense, and for a seventh season, it's Dak Prescott who brings him out. And what he's thinking about right now is first down, let's find a way to make a big play. Because when you get a sudden change situation and that defense has to rush onto the field unexpectedly, 
you might catch them having a defensive breakdown or not quite prepared. And it was really sudden after the first play picked off. A first down carry by Elliott. And he'll manage to pick up about four in second down. The numbers for Zeke from last week. The hat trick plus one. Four trips to the end zone with his legs. And partner, you know how all the guys do when they do that little symbol now about eating, right? Keep feeding me, feeding me. They just kept feeding him and feeding him. And next thing you know, he kept getting in the end zone. Pushes him over. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. And that's how you pick up a first down. Those shoulders went from parallel to square. And then he brought force with him to finish that run. Oh, that's impressive. And we saw a lot of that a week ago when he got the NFC Offensive Player of the Week award. There it is. C.D. Lamb from eight yards out. And the Cowboys take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Well, Charles, here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face Thank it, Brandon, you. a player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. Fielded just outside the goal line. Now a hit and a loose football. They got lost. So a teammate picking him up there. <laughs> that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. Good throw here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. So the completion good for six yards, and it makes it third down and two yards to go. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. He's going to pick up the first down and then some. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Let's go now. But first down, Hurts. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. It's a second down run with Sanders. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. That one a first down pickup of eight. Yeah, once more strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. On first and ten, it's Hurts. Looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys here we go again. As they'll start at their own 24-yard line. For a team who came in here on a healthy winning streak, we're seeing some uncharacteristically bad play thus far. And that streak is definitely in jeopardy if this offense keeps giving the ball away and can't mount a few drives of their own. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 44 yards rushing for him now in just his first three carries. So Thank you. Philadelphia territory now. Here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Ooh. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling in. All right, I'm glad that so didn't game, happen. Mark Charles, you know, the talk of the NFL world all week, two unbeaten teams, and you rarely see such a matchup this deep into a season. I would agree with that because normally... You might get one team undefeated for a while, but two teams like this, and I remember in preseason, you looked at schedules and said, I think these two are on a collision course. It'll be interesting to see if they actually get there, and they did. And to me, the winner of this game has to wear the crown of Super Bowl favorite. And now the throw here is incomplete, and with that, we come to the end of the first quarter of play. Start the second making quarter, stupid and throws. it's the Cowboys in possession. Here's Brian Anger now. Boston Scott deep for Philadelphia. It was
was only asked to punt once in the victory last nope. week as he sends this one away. And a bit of a mistake. I couldn't name well. Give me one second so I can go feed my dog real quick. Yes, Cody, I'll feed you. Sorry about that. For a touchback. Come on, come on. All right. So the Eagles come up here first and two. Yeah, I was trying to angle it at the one, but I couldn't get it. He'll start with a handoff. Very rarely do I ever get that to work. Nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. Drop for a loss there on a nice effort by Osa Adigizua. Second down, back to Sanders. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they're left with a third and eight. From the gun, it's Hurts. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. Finding space at the 40. Damn. a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A big play that That's time on the catch and run. 39 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Another run with Sanders. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. They run with Sanders off the option. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a cut, and that's it. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll this will probably be the eight. last game for the Two night, maybe. The clock, I quarter, might do one more. Nothing ball game. Ball at the 23 second. I don't know yet. Here's Hurts to throw. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Hurts sets up to throw it. Got a man, it's Brown. And he does not get to the first Thank down you. marker as they stop him at the 19. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. From the left hash, it's a 36-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So that kick gives him their first points of the game, CD. And it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, you're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They've struggled with a few drives so far. Finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. Zeke and the Cowboys ready to begin their next drive. Thank you. It may just be the second quarter, but he's in his own well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books. But it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that means he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. 61 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. Prescott now from the 50. It's complete here to T.Y. Hilton. And he'll be dropped just shy of the 35 at the 34. A pickup of 17 on a play that originated at the 17. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. That is caught by Lamb. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. 
as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. From the red zone now, Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. I was hoping that would work. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Marr able to put this one through, and that will do it for this first half. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Pretty Jonathan close game, Coachman, though. ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll get our tour started out at Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago, where it was our visitors who were able to walk away with the road victory. Brian Robinson, what a game. Three touchdown runs in the victory. From there, we head down south to Atlanta. Check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And it was the visiting San Francisco 49ers that come in and get the victory. Trey Lance, strong in the victory as his guys run their record to 6-1 and one on the campaign. And lastly, it's a second straight Monday night devoted to the AFC West. We had the Raiders Chiefs last week. This time, it's the Broncos and the Chargers from SoFi. With that, let's take a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Cowboys. And they've had some success on the ground. And with the lead going into the second half, they'll no doubt be looking to keep it going. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, they did even less on the ground as they've struggled to get the run game going. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. And they finally get to Almost had to break. Field, but he's all the way across the 45 to the 46. So here are the Cowboys to take over. Remember, they're riding that five-game winning streak, and right now in the driver's seat in this ball game as well. Second half starts with a carry by Elliott. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. Nine yards is the pick up there. They'll have a second and one. Now Prescott. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Damn it. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't that was a good throw, too. Down. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Well, someone's been having a good game so far. And you know something? A lot has been power running. <clears throat> they decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. A run there on first down and a pretty good one of five yards. So make it second and five. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They go to Elliott again. And he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles 31. The Eagles caught on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Ten carry now for Elliott. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down <laughs> at the 26. Victoria, your island. They get five out of that one and it moves the chains. <laughs> They'll try to throw now. Prescott. Touchdown, Cowboys! C.D. Lamb. His second touchdown of the game. His third on the year. And well, that the Cowboys worked. have taken a two-touchdown lead now. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter. Decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is... 
lets you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two touchdown lead right because you've taken that time off as you noted which means they couldn't get you off the field uh, you'll be waiting a while before i play again to, and you gave your defense some rest what a big time drive in that situation the kick I haven't been in the mood the to play it. As they run up to send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in you can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially but you have to do it without pressing because pressing that leads into bigger errors on first and ten it's sanders and that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started defensively i'll, I'll get there eventually you gotta figure the further they fall behind the more you think that they'll get away from the run they're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. And this will be caught by Brown. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing his hurts. And he's got his man. It's the tight end, Goddard. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 38-yard line. with a little pop pass on the jet sweep. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. Hurts. And one more time, that's Watkins. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 23. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Come on, come on. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. And the Cowboys force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. And that pretty much has been the storyline, Charles. This defense, they seem to be one step ahead from the start of the game until now. And you identified it perfectly, and we can see the frustration that's settling in now. And it's probably been there for a long time, but now it's evident because you can see it in their faces, you can see it in their body language, maybe even a little bit in that play call that ended up maybe closing them out. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. But the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Elliott going to get it again on second down. Nifty footwork at the 45. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Once in a while, this spin works for me. Now as he's gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Oh, let's see. The lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, helped their spot, and stacked him up. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 38-yard line. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because, to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway.
They keep on the ground with Elliott. A little second effort there on the strong run. And then drop just inside of the 20. So the Cowboys in position. They're not even the making an effort to stop me. Reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. Another carry tonight for the workhorse Elliott. And now right out of the two-minute break. We'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 I can just to go. keep running this it. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll try to run it in with Allen. Damn. Now the defense will burn their third and final time. Okay, that didn't work. As they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Again, it's Allen. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Here's Elliott, and he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott with his sixth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Cowboys add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Philadelphia's offense ready to go again. You want to see what's sad about this? That. And it would appear that that bye week is coming at the right time. Usually I can't play on pro. On this one, though, probably not one that or not as good as I'm playing. Performance from start to finish. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. They'll probably spend a little extra time dissecting the game film after this one. I think the part of their plan was to hit them over the top of the deep ball. They've been unsuccessful all night. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Toward the sideline and look at that catch. Dragging the toes. And that's going to be a first down. Well done. They'll look to throw again. That swing out wide to Sanders. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 29-yard line. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. One final shot. They'll look to throw. Looking for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> Good job. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score. <laughs> Cindy's trying to get a 20 now.
It's week seven of the 2022 season. And here's the pick artist himself, Trayvon Diggs, who's had quarterbacks. In the Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season, week seven is underway on EA Sports. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Dak Prescott and Dallas taking the field for their first possession. Dak now in his seventh season in charge of the Cowboys. Two-time Pro Bowler. And how about the toughness of Dak Prescott? We see it all the time on the field. And remember when he had that serious ankle injury, would he return to form? Boy, did he ever. Ah. He was better than ever, and that's great for the NFL. Terrific resilience, playing at a high level, capable of winning a championship with his arm and his legs. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. And Elliott trying to work his way forward, but it looks like he did not make it. Here's Brian Anger now. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. Fielded at the 20. Well, that was They'll disappointing. 41-yard punt, seven. Good the job, return. Cindy. And the Lions will take over. Detroit gets set to go on offense, and it will be the seventh-year pro out of Cal, Jared Goff, leading the attack in his second season as a Lion. On first down, it's gone. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. So now they'll come up on second and ten once again from the 28. First carry for DeAndre Swift. And down right around the 32-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. Throwing on third. Gone. And that'll be caught by St. Brown. And they're going to get this up to midfield. And CD, we have seen some great runs the last few times we've been together, but I think we can at least put this one in our top five. That was a determined gallop there. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. Who moving from his tight end spot there. Do you think that perhaps the play call was for him? A full start backs him up five, first and 15. Go off a handoff here to Swift. Michael Parsons, the linebacker, in on the tackle. Well, this defense for the Cowboys, they were quite formidable in the win over Philly a week ago. And as in any game, takeaways are always a big key. They're always discussed on defense. There's an emphasis there. And they came away with three interceptions in that game. One yard is the loss. They back up even further to a third and 15. Tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's airing it out for Williams. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to take possession here. In the back. 47 yard line. Well, they try to take the deep shot there, but this defense up to the task. And a lot of times when you air a ball out like this, if it does get intercepted, there's going to be a lot of space out there to set up a return. And remember, you've got five big offensive linemen out there playing on their feet in open space. Not a skill most of them possess that allows for extra yardage on the return. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. They start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and ten. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and ten huh. on their side of midfield at the 47. They start on the ground with Elliott. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and Sounds six. interesting. Inside give to Elliott. And a pretty good run as he'll get this down close to a first at the Lions 44. 
It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now, Lumen. Now Prescott. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. So on trots the field goal unit, and wow, this is going to be a challenge here. And this will be spotted on the other side of the field. It's a 61-yard attempt. The kick by Moore is good. Well, Charles, the NFL record is 66 yards. Hmm. It was five shy of that, but only a handful of guys have ever connected from 61 or deeper, and he can add his name to the list. Yeah, more and more guys are trying it. That doesn't mean the success rate has gone up. That is a long kick. Guaranteed, when he turns on his phone after the game, a ton of congratulatory texts will be awaiting him. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away. But they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more, thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. The Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. On first and 10, gone. That's going to be caught by Josh Reynolds. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Now gone. That's complete to Swift out of the backfield. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play, and that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Goff throwing again. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. On fourth Thank down, God for that. Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. This is taken at the 18. So possession goes over here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. So here are the Cowboys to take over. Their win streak at six coming in and counting as they've got the lead right now beginning this drive first and ten. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. Prescott now. He's going deep for Brown. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So this game, Charles, you know, we talk about potential unbeaten seasons a lot. It feels like every year at some point in the season we talk about that. But this is one of those games where if you're unbeaten, you got to be careful. You can't take this one too lightly. You're exactly right about that. And by rights, this should be a cakewalk. Almost a week off. Let the starters run up the score in the first half. Backups get to play in the second. But you and I both know that funny things sometimes happen when you think this way. So it's incumbent upon the starters to really play well to make it work for this team. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. A kind of a throwback weekend for our primetime games here in Week 7. Later tonight, a couple of the great AFC teams of the 70s do battle. The Steelers and Dolphins from Miami on Sunday night. And then tomorrow, Monday Night Football, Bears and Patriots from Foxborough, a rematch of Super Bowl 20. Bears won that one 46 to 10. But fear not for the Patriots, if I remember correctly. And they've won a few in the years following. A gain of five yeah, good you. enough for the first down. Swift split carries down the middle with Jamal Williams in 2021. Just a few. Detroit's busiest players in the passing game. He caught 62 passes, second on the team, and fourth among NFL running backs. His showing could convince the Lions to make him their RB1. 
Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. And he's miles away and smiling. And happy. Now golf on first down. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Throwing again is golf. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Goff now looking to throw. Reynolds with a catch out on the right side. Nice. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. On is Josh Lambeau for the field goal try. It'll be spotted on the right hash. A 52-yard attempt. And Lambeau will put this one through, and that will tie us at 3-3. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So, three drives, three points. Obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. There was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. To throw again on second down. Prescott, he's going deep for Brown. And he bats it away, and it falls Jesus. As a coaching staff, you can call just about whatever had two you want. Passes. You understand you have guys who reliably take away those massive shots downfield. You're not as worried about giving up the big one. And that's incomplete. The third down, he tried to stay in bounds, did all he could. He caught it, but was led a little bit too far. Yeah, that's always difficult, isn't it? Because you know half of your body is trying to stay behind while the other half is reaching out, trying to catch the football. The top half worked. It was the bottom half that was in question. Now Prescott on fourth down. Open man is Noah Brown. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down as they manage to convert. And that will keep the drive alive. What a time for his first catch as they get the conversion on fourth. On first and ten, Prescott. He'll fire this deep for Gallup. And it's knocked away and incomplete. That could have been a huge play, but give the defender credit. Stayed calm, stayed collected, and kept himself in a position to make a play on the ball without a penalty. Meanwhile, Prescott's throw here pulled in by Hilton. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. I'm completely this sucking out right now. Seven on the drive, third of the yard. And again, it's Prescott. He goes right back the way of Hilton. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 31-yard line. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. The kick by Maher is good. And that will do it for this first half. So if you like field goals, this is your game. 6-3, three, three field goals at the break. Damn As it. we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. A lot to get to here as some of the division races starting to take shape. As we look around the NFL here in week number seven, we'll start up at TIAA Stadium in Jacksonville. And they are seconds away from halftime, all tied in that one. From there, we'll head down to Charlotte to check on the Panthers at home at Bank of America Stadium. And they've got the lead in their matchup with the Tampa Bay Bucks. Sam Darnold, four touchdown passes. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. 
and they trail that one over the visiting Green Bay Packers. Aaron Rodgers has thrown a touchdown pass. Okay. Time now for a check of the next-gen stats in that first half for the Lions, and they did not do much at all in terms of throwing the football in those first two quarters. That's going to need to improve if they want to erase this deficit. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, they too have found passing lanes to be hard to come by so far. As you see by the numbers, they'll need to figure that out in the second half. Both teams making their final preparations for the second half of action. So with that, let's get you back out to Arlington, where we rejoin Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. It'll be Lions football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. And the half will begin with a touchback. And the Lions getting set to go on offense. Nothing to comes to mind, third. really. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. Meanwhile, Goff's throw complete there to St. Brown. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Now a toss for Swift left side. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back nice. at the 36. Got him. And tip your cap to Demarcus Lawrence. Nice play defensively. On second and 15 now. Golf. That one complete. He finds Sharp. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage. The drag route can be effective when it's run well. They'll try and run here with Swift. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. 11 yards there and a line first down. From the gun, here's Gaughan. Trying to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. I certainly think that we're seeing a big reason why this team is struggling to put points on the board so far because too many of their drives have ended in turnovers already, and we still have almost a full half of football yet to play. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. And their defense just helped them out by getting the football back on the opening drive here in the second half. And now can the offense follow through with points on their first possession? And that's a big one for them because after the work the defense has done, they've got a chance here to open up this lead. And that's a gain of six on the first down run. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short. Could they just hand it off for another big gain? Or did they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. To throw on second and 10, Prescott. And oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. I cannot get to back nothing in completions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. Throwing Prescott. That'll be taken in there by James Washington. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10 yard line. Thank God. On third and 10, they go flying past the marker and get nearly 40 yards. The kicker fest so far, all points via field goals. They're hoping to change that right here. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It'll be a three yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might this throw probably be the last one. and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. And that'll move him I'm pretty sure of it. As he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. I don't want to overplay it either. 
Looking to throw. Prescott. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. T.Y. Hilton, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Cowboys are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. I mean, I got seven games in, so that's pretty good. So that drive in total eight plays, and it's capped off by the T.Y. Hilton touchdown. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And Detroit back in possession of the football. As this offense takes the field against CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing to battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here. I've heard of both. Things start to get more interesting here in this second half. To throw again on second down. Goff. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. And that gives him now three interceptions in the game. Well, someone's locked into what they're trying to get done in the passing game. When was the last time we had someone get three in a, in a contest? 2011, wasn't it? Kurt Coleman. Oh, yeah, that's then right. Then with the Eagles. That's right. Then gets it with the Eagles, and I believe it's against Washington and Red Spurs. That's correct. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. It's the Cowboys with the football. They'll be looking to tack onto their lead as we get set for the fourth. Nah. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Draw play, Elliott. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. 53 yards on the ground for him so far. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity, usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there, I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. So that maybe not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist. But time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. We'll see. Detroit's offense ready to take over. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. On first and 10, it's Swift. And he is going to lose yardage here. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they bring in your tight end, keep him in. Your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. And we're definitely getting towards the point of the game where not getting a lot of yards is secondary to keeping the clock moving. I mean, to me, that's a double win defensively. Short gain and some more time off the clock. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Jeff. 
desperation time for golf on fourth. Oh. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Now it's first and ten after I saw that too. penalty there on fourth down. Damn it. Goff now to throw. Got St. Brown running the quick slam here. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. To the air again, Goff. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. As they'll talk it over here before what'll be an important third down. They'll need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 26. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now gone. And that's off the mark. Incomplete. Now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. I'm not playing online. Again, golf. I'm doing Good an offline season. The end zone. And that will be incomplete. Oh, he left that one in a bad spot, but fortunately it's just an incompletion and not picked to bring up fourth down. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Nice. They had to go for it with something. I needed that. At the oh, come on. Yeah, they'll get a review, and this being inside two minutes of play, everything coming from up above. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all Sounds comes interesting. Together. So the folks in New York just going to wind up confirming what the officials saw as this play will stand as is. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And some room to run now. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Lions now are going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. The run by Elliott, a good one on first down as he's able to pick up about six there. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. On second down, Elliott. And running room Damn scarce it. here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Here's Brian Anger now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. Special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked out and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That's excellent. The Lions That's offense harsh. ready to kick off their next drive. One last throw here for Goff. Being chased out left. They said their goal was to win seven games. They've done that pretty early in the year. I think it's time for them to elevate that number and really make a big push to finish this season strong. Oh.
All right, guys, on that, I am getting out of here for the night. I want to thank everybody that came in, likes, comments, shares. As always, I appreciate it. And I will have next week's schedule up probably sometime tomorrow. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Everybody have a good holiday.